But your home isn't. No, my home isn't south. So I have three walls. Oh wow. And so, and so were you there? Yes, my husband and I were home. We had just gone, gotten home from looking at some open houses. We were about two weeks away from putting our house on the market. And we were watching, we had turned the TV on, we were looking on the internet, looking at some houses that we had seen. And a friend called and said, are you taking cover? About that time, the first sirens went off. We said no, and we turned on the TV and it said it was in Riverton and north, going north of us, so we thought we were okay. And then he called, our friend called us, he had texted us first, and then he called us and said, you guys need to take cover. So I had some sweatpants on. I went and put jeans on and put some tennis shoes on. My husband, gra my husband grabbed our beagle, put her harness on her, put a leash on her. And about that time, the sirens went off again for the second time. So we ran to our guest bedroom closet, which had a, a floor that could pull up. Um, and we could hop down into the crawl space. And I jumped down. He passed me the dog, and he jumped down. And we got down and I got over Sadie and then Jason got over me. We just, we heard, I, I turned and as he was closing the crawl space, he had, we heard the, that engine-y, freight train -y sound that they say you'll hear. And I said, honey, we need to pray. And so we started praying some Hail Marys. And I don't know, we said maybe seven or eight of them through the whole time. But we were super calm. Everything was calm. We felt like some presence was with us. We don't know what it was, but we were so calm and we were quiet. We could hear the furniture above us scraping across the floor. And our ears popped and then we heard all the glass shatter in the house. And we could hear ri wood ripping and tearing and could smell that smell like, um, yeah, just this funky smell. It was like dirt and rain and earthy kind of smell. And then and then we heard, I guess probably our roof fly off, and, and I thought, okay, it's gonna be okay, we just don't have a roof. <laughs> and then it got quiet, and then it started raining. And so we were getting soaked underneath the house, the water was just coming through, and so we um, decided we would get out. So we crawled over to the crawl space, and my husband took, a, took the crawl space off in the back of the house, and we ran across the street to my neighbor. She still had a garage that was still standing, and so we took refuge in her while the rest of the rain went through. We found her, got her to the, her garage. She was under her house too, and then we just waited. Luckily, she had remembered her cell phone. We didn't have our cell phones with us, but we were able to call my family and tell them they, we were okay. And so where are you now? We're staying at my mom and dad's house. They had a lot of property damage as far as trees and power outages. They didn't have electricity for about five days, but their house is sound and they're safe. And 